Hello, teachers, support staff, and anybody else who's choosing to watch this video. I'm Matt, I'm your friendly neighborhood online science teacher, and well, I'm a support and a guide for you as we all work uh, to learn something new and navigate a, a new way of learning. So in development of these modules that we've created for science, we wanted to develop them in a way that um, was the navigation was simple and access was not restricted in any way, shape, or form. So we want links to actually link places. We want videos to be able to be viewed, and we want quizzes and assignments to be able to be submitted so that teachers can grade and students can receive grades. So in essence, we wanted these modules to be as accessible as possible so teachers can teach and students can learn with the least issues possible. So I'm gonna tell you some ways that you can shift uh, your course a little bit to change this access around. So let's say you wanted to make sure a student was taking the practice activity before they are doing the weekly assessment. These things can be done in Canvas, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. From a, any page in the course or from your home page, wherever you are, you can always go over here and click modules. And when you click modules, you will be given the view, and this is the week one uh, biology module here in this video. But uh, this is the how it will appear for all of the science courses. It'll say week one, and you have all these things listed here. Notice everything is published except for that teacher resource page. Don't publish that one. There are instructions on how to unpublish that page in this page specifically. So you can jump in there if you'd like to know more about that. But again, notice you have everything in sequential order. So students will navigate to this intro objectives page and then they'll click next all the way through and be guided through this. However, like I said, they could jump ahead to the assessment if they wanted to before doing the instructional resources. And if you want to stop them from doing that or just shift their access a little bit to guide them and know a little bit more about what they're doing, you can click these three dots over here on any module at the top here, those vertical ellipses, you click that and you click edit. When you get to here, you have your module settings and it's pretty blank. You can rename the module here. You could lock it. That's one way of ac uh, restricting access. You can unlock it at a certain date and time that you choose, or you can use the requirements feature. Now, when you click add requirement here, a few new options pop up. So you could have them complete all the requirements. So that's boom, you click that and they have to go through each one. Students must move through them in sequential order. That's a really good uh, tip that you can turn on in your modules to make them move through it exactly how you want them to. Or if you see here, students must complete one of these requirements. Now, when you click that, you can select what you want them to complete, or you can still click back up here to click complete all of these requirements. And then you can select each one that you need them to complete and how they're going to complete it. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's say we want them to view the intro objectives page first, makes sense. We want them to view the item. They're just gonna view the page, it automatically codes and it'll show that they viewed the item. If you want to put some more uh, accountability on them to check off that they're doing it, you can select mark as done here. And when you do that on each page the student accesses, if you have it set to mark as done, there will be a little checkbox that shows up and they have to click mark as done. If you wanna add another requirement, we click add requirement and then we click into this drop box again and we say, okay, next after the intro page, we want them going to the instructional resources page. And again, I want them to mark that they have done that. So we would turn on that setting. You want to add the next requirement, you click add requirement and you go and again, select the next thing in the module, which is the practice activity. So again, here's where the access restrictions come into play. If you want them to maybe submit the assignment for the practice activity before the weekly assessment, which is down here, they also must submit that, you can do that. So this is how you would, you can play around with this by coming into the module settings and adding in requirements. But again, if you are going to be setting each individual page or assignment to have a selection here, such as mark is done or submit the assignment, you must add each individual one in the module by clicking this add requirement button. Okay, one uh, other tip here, uh, you can also have them score at least a certain amount before moving forward. So if you wanna restrict that in their scoring and grading, you can do that as well in this view. Now, once you're done, you want to click update module and notice complete all items will come up and then your module will be listed with new features here. Mark done, they must submit, they must submit. 
All right, so this will update automatically. Now, if you get deeper into this course and you want to have new modules and you wanna make sure students are completing the first module before like the week one module before the week two module, you will also begin to see as you move into the edit features of the next modules that prerequisites come up. And a prerequisite again is just restricting them. Oh, before you get to week two, you must complete week one, you update module and that will show up there. So they will not be able to access week two until they completed week one. So that's a good tip for any of our slow starters out there. All right, I think that is it as far as the module settings. The only other feature that I can show you to restrict uh, student access that we did not have turned on, if you go into a quiz like this one, you have your quiz here, you click edit. And if you scroll down here to quiz restrictions, if you don't want students to jump right into the quiz and take that, you can click require an access code. You put in that access code and that quiz is now locked until you send them that access code. It is an extra step of work on your end and it is why we did not want to require an access code from the beginning. However, it is a great feature to turn on if you would like to be sending an access code and kind of controlling when your students or what window your students will be taking the quiz in. Again, speaking of window, you can also uh, assign it and have it available within a certain window by changing the dates down here in the assign box. So many, many ways to shift student access and kind of monitor what they're doing in a, in a different way. But to start, again, we wanted to make sure these modules were wide open for teachers and students to access, especially as we all work to learn this whole new method and modality of learning and teaching and just everything in the world, right? So stay positive, keep teaching, keep doing what you're doing, and that's all we can do at this moment in time, right? So I hope you're doing well and you're safe, and I hope you got something out of this quick video on module settings and restricting student access. If you have any questions, please let us know.